Jamie Lee Kravitz from Germany has had her first rehearsal at Eurovision 2016, and she has not changed much from the German national selection. She looks like a delicious cupcake with blue frosting and way too many sprinkles. My sweet tooth has become a cavity. Now, you guys, I've got to say, it's a little much. She also looks like a Mexican piñata. The only difference is when you beat a piñata, something sweet comes out, and there is nothing sweet coming out of this. This song is still bland, it's still boring, and I worry that it's destined for the bottom five. I actually like the song, but everything else about it I dislike. The staging was horrible in Germany, it's still horrible here in Stockholm. Her outfit is just too distracting. Like, I know it, she's keeping true to her personality, mm. but the song doesn't match her personality then, and there's something not right. You know, I, I, I disagree. I really like this. I think it's a really strong entry. I like the way she opens up on stage in that sort of really dark moment with the sort of the backdrop. It looks like a little bit like a horror story backdrop. What lets it down for me are the green laser beams. Mm, it was yeah. just very, very distracting. Very just, David uh, Lindgren. Yeah, <laughs> very. And it wasn't even a constellation. It was just scattered. It had mm. no it had no pattern. It had no choreography to it. So it was very distracting. And it kind of went on for so long as well. I would say zap that out and you've got a really tasteful performance. In terms of costume, Jamie Lee gets it. I love this concept of building bridges. Europe to Asia. I know you're going to say it's last year, but we're all coming together this year. And I think that she she does take that on board. I really, you know, young kids love this Harajuku emo kind of crossover thing. She's definitely serving some Sailor Moon realness. My only concern is that the camera angle sometimes is looking north and you can see her south. That skirt is way too short for someone portraying a school girl. It is slightly inappropriate. I'm all about being like true to yourself, <laughs> Porg, but my mama always said, never deny who you are unless it gets you somewhere. She needs to change these clothes, mix it up. I just don't think this is appropriate for Eurovision. It's too cheesy. It's too like gimmicky. Actually, maybe it's perfect can for I, Eurovision. Can I just say that also your mama knows who you are and she knows that you need to be kept on a lead. Now, Jamie Lee has a sense, uh, you know, a spirit of innocence about her. What I think lets this down, uh, guys, is the harmonies were really off the mark. Did you hear? I mean, it was like the backing singers had almost no rehearsal. Ooh, it's like a ghost has transformed this video. In any event, ghosts are haunting. Ghosts give you chills. And this song just does not do that for me. This is not haunting. This does not give me the chills. It just leaves me feeling quite empty. Uh, final thoughts? I really like this. I think that they're almost there, they just need a bit of tweaking, but that's what rehearsals are for. I think the harmonies need to be tighter, and I think that uh, Jamie, I'm just loving J Jamie Lee's fashion. I really want to go to Tokyo. Song contest. <laughs> I like Jamie Lee's voice, I like Jamie Lee's song, I like Jamie Lee's promotional headgear, her promotional tattoos. Yes, I have one on my ass. <laughs> but her performance I do not like at all. And I think she's going to be repeating what Anne-Sophie, I forgot her name for a moment. She's not going to get Neil Poit. Well, it's not um, possible, but she will be battling for bottom five, I think, even though I really like the song. That's what we think. What do you think? Is Jamie Lee Krivitz taking you to the grave? You can let us know here on Weebie Blogs. See? Oh, subscribe. <laughs> like. See you later. Bye. Bye.